Good afternoon everyone and welcome back to Crucible Chat. Yes, it's Saturday, it's that time of the week where I get to talk about whatever the fuck it is I want. In the background we have a bit of Evolve gameplay, uh, my first victory as the monster. I was quite happy with how this one turned out, managed to get myself to stage 3 and tear some shit. But anyway, um, what I wanted to talk to you guys about today is net neutrality. Now if anyone has been anywhere near the internet in this last week or so, you'll have seen this whole storm that was brewing over in America about the concept of net neutrality. Now the FCC, which is, is that the Federal Communication Commission? Something like that? Um, America's equivalent of Ofcom. They had a critical vote this week about um, what to do with the internet, as it stands, uh, or rather how to classify the internet. Because all these American cable companies like Comcast and Time Warner and Verizon and people like that want to be able to charge more to providers and be able to basically control speeds and traffic a lot more than they do now. And they want, they want that to be one of their powers. Now the FCC, quite rightly, voted against that, considering that the internet should be considered a public utility. And classifying it as such, which means it's it can be regulated. Now, the fact that this argument got to this point at all, that just... I It flabbergasts me. Because at the end of the day, and this is probably going to be a point I'm going to rattle back to a couple of times in this particular Crucible chat, to Verizon, to Comcast, whatever, you don't own the internet. The internet cannot be owned. I mean, when the internet was invented by Sir, Sir, Sir Tim Berners-Lee... He didn't make a penny off it. He made it public. He made the concept of it public. He made, he, he gave up all the rights to it. He could have been an incredibly wealthy man. I mean, he's, he's not bad off. He's not hard done by. But he could have been, I think, catastonically, he could have been Bill Gates wealthy if he'd have kept control of the internet and sold it as a concept and so on and so forth. But he didn't because he made it for the good of mankind. And it's people like Comcast and Verizon which are pissing me off about this. Because what they want to do is they want to be able to charge content providers for, uh, was it like priority traffic? So let's say like they could charge Netflix money. Netflix could pay like a huge, huge amount of money to them. And then if you were on Verizon or whatever and you're watching Netflix, you get 1080p pristine condition video coming through. But if you're on Verizon and you want to watch like Amazon Prime, for example, it would come through at lower quality, slower, it, you'd spend more time buffering, that kind of thing. That is not what the internet is about. The internet is the most important invention in the modern age. In fact, it's probably one of the most important inventions since the car. Since sliced bread, for fuck's sake. It is one of the most important things humanity has because it is an unlimited unlimited source of information. It's the greatest resource that humanity has at the minute. That's not a natural resource anyway. Um, and the fact that people are doing this just drives us mad. But then it, it it goes beyond Verizon and Comcast. Now, before I get into this part of the rant, I could be incredibly wrong here. I don't pretend to know a lot about the American political system. In fact, most of what I know about it comes from watching House of Cards. So, think of that what you will <laughs> but the point i'm trying to make is republicans there are republican um uh what do you what do you senators and politicians who are clearly being paid off by the likes of comcast and verizon you know the, these cable companies have huge lobbying power in washington and a huge amount of money to contribute to whichever party they um align themselves with and so the Republicans are trying to argue that no, Verizon and Comcast and whatever should be able to do what they want. They should be able to charge what they want and they should be able to make money like this. But And then even when it came down to the FCC, there were, there were five people voting in the FCC and it went through one of three to two majority. That means two people voted against this. This is common fucking sense. I mean, at the end of the day, this is... Like I said, this is one of the most important things humanity has created in its existence. And... People are trying to control it like this for the sake of money. Oh, that just boils my blood. Because at the end, the internet is so important. And the idea that 
these con uh, these ISPs are thinking that they should they should be allowed to control what goes through the internet at what speed. No, all they are is a gateway. They are a gateway to the internet. But the oh god almighty you know what i don't even know how to progress with this argument it's just it's getting me so annoyed okay so so american americas americans rather <laughs> look at how england does it okay we have bt wholesale bt wholesale manage infrastructure they are the ones that own the lines the exchanges the wires the cables all that shit they are one company but they're independent from bt retail who are a isp now we have the likes of bt retail uh, bt sky Virgin, there's about eight or nine different ISPs in this country. Now they all rent the lines of BT Wholesale, who are this one central constant. Now BT Wholesale aren't allowed to be competitive because they don't have a competitor. They are just told to charge what it costs. You know, BT Wholesale doesn't make a huge amount of profit, but what they do is they charge the content providers to, uh, sorry, the ISPs to allow access to the network. But at the end of the day, they have this one company that is in charge of the networks across the whole country. So it end it, it ends up then that we pay our, customers end up paying a line rental, which is about fifteen quid a month. Uh, then we pay our ISPs for access, and that's it. And we get whatever speed our line can take. There are we are now at a point where there is no more throttling of speeds. You know, you used to be able to get packages like get up to 2 meg, get up to 8 meg, get up to 12 meg, get up to 20 meg. No, no. Everything is just as basically as fast as your line will accept. And that is the limit. BT Wholesale, don't throttle speeds. Content, uh, the ISP sometimes throttle speeds depending on their particular policy. But that is also in terms of stuff like piracy. Like if they see you're using BitTorrents, they'll like traffic shape that around that. That's all kind of other stuff. But... The actual general speed. If you're watching Netflix, for instance, Virgin won't won't give you Netflix any faster than Sky will on a same speed line. That is just, and that is the way it works. And that is the way it has worked here since internet started. You know, since we got the first dial-up connections. So Amer America, take a lesson from England. Just do it that way. Have one central organization who is in charge of infrastructure, and then have your ISPs just al allowing you to access what you want to access. Because at the end of the day, and, and I know this is how it works in America, where you've got a Verizon have their network, Comcast have their network, and everyone has different hardware and different infrastructure, and then you're paying different rates to access, like, you know, you might get a better service from Verizon, but the line quality might not be as good, whereas you've been burned by Comcast because they've given you shitty customer service, but you know for a fact that if you get past that, you'll get a faster speed to your house. It's all the same fucking signal coming through. Oh, my God. <laughs> The reason I'm getting so annoyed about this is the internet is a huge part of my life, obviously as a YouTuber, but just in general. And internet is something that I think humanity do takes for granted. You know, the, the idea that just most people just use the internet as like Facebook and Twitter and all that, or Instagramming selfies of, or pictures of their dinner. But people don't realise just how reliant we are on the internet, and also how just massively important it is. You know, everything is internet connected these days. You know, from your phone, I mean, I I have an electricity meter that is connected to the internet. You know, uh, TVs are connected to the internet now. It, it, everything is so important. I mean, if the internet... What my concern is, if the FCC had ruled that um, the networks in America could do as they pleased and charge what they want for different kinds of access, and this has been something that's been theorised by people as well over, over time, that it would get to the point where you would get uh, ISPs blocking competitor websites. Or ISPs would be able to have people, like people could pay ISPs for priority access to their website and to block their competitors. Uh, so for instance, like, again, well, I I'm, I'm picking on Verizon here. It's just the only one I can just remember off the top of my head. But Verizon, Verizon could strike a deal with CNN to prioritize traffic from the CNN website and block traffic from MSNBC. Is that right? Yeah, they're both news providers. But that, that's the kind of thing that would worry me. And then it would also worry me that if this precedent was set in America, that this could come to the UK, that this could go to France, this could go to Germany, this could go to Australia, you know, it could get its way all around the world. And then all of a sudden you have this a fragmented internet. I mean, what if you end up on an ISP that suddenly decides that it doesn't want to prioritise traffic to YouTube because Vimeo have paid them a lot of money? Vimeo is shit. YouTube has more content. 
But the, and then it comes to the point is like, well, what kind of rights does the consumer have in this case? You know, is it going to be a case of when you sign up? Would it be a case of signing up to an ISP and then you have to like specify a package of websites that you got? Because everyone knows everyone only kind of consistently visits maybe about 10, 15 websites and anything else is just if the mood catches them. But then would you have to buy packages of websites? You know, would you have to pay a Facebook premium or a Twitter levy? You know, that kind of thing. This is what worries me. And this is what worries me, the fact that then after the FCC ruled this, and this is the other thing that I don't get about American politics. The F if Ofcom in the UK rules something, that's it. It's law. It might get passed through the Houses of Parliament, but it, it, it's pretty much law. In America... The FCC rules something, who are a government body, with bo which is bipartisan, so it's both Republicans and Democrats sitting on it, but the ISPs are still allowed to appeal it in court. I said, what the fuck is that? What the FCC has decided shouldn't be a court decision, it should be the FCC's decision. It shouldn't be a case of, um, that, oh, we don't like this, we'll sue them. And people just end up in this constant legal loop I mean the longer it stays in a legal battle to be fair the better because things won't change while things are still being decided legally but then there is always a little risk that you get a Republican sympathetic judge or you get a judge who is um, sympathetic to the cable companies who will end up ruling against the FCC and then all of a sudden there's a court precedent for it and then all of a sudden you're back to square one and the internet in America is ruined basically for the sake of dollars and that that confuses the hell out of me that there is this ability to do that whereas really a government body and watchdog should be able to say no this is how it is fucking deal with it because that's what happens in this country but anyway i've been on this rant for far too long so if you enjoyed this please do make sure you leave a like and subscribe let me know in the comments what you thought about this what your particular thoughts are on um, the idea of net neutrality and please do come back soon for more videos from me. We've got Half-Life tomorrow, and we're doing a week-long special of The Order 1886, so just The Order next week. Regular series will return very shortly. But for now, thank you for watching, and good night.